Hello, Stella. Hang on. Our final presentation today is by Anton and Selena. Please come on up. Imagine what children would be without play. Play gives children a chance to practice what they're learning, Dr. Rogers once said. Without a doubt, we believe that play has many health benefits for children. Play can benefit and give us a chance to be more creative. In addition, it can also help us to develop our social skills to help us know how to speak respectfully and effectively with others. Importantly, through play, you are able to improve your problem-solving skills. In our view, playing can help enhance your problem-solving skills. Playing can give us many chances to solve problems on our own, not using the help of adults. During the super unit, we learn a, a part of our brain that is responsible for problem-solving. It's called the frontal cortex. The prefrontal cortex and this us in making smart and tough decisions. Hey Selena, where is the prefrontal cortex located in our head? Good question, Anton. The frontal cortex is located at the front of the frontal lobe. Well, what is a frontal lobe? The frontal lobe is a part of our brain that is responsible for important logical skills in humans, such as emotion expressions, problem solving, memory, language, judgment, and behaviors. It is, in a sense, the control panel of our personality and our ability to communicate. Oh, thanks. When you play, you can practice problem solving. For example, when I was doing a puzzle with my friends, it was really hard. But then we found out a trick of doing it so we could solve it. Another advantage of play is giving us many chances to be creative. That reminds me of when I was really bored. So, I just decided to go to the art room. I was never really, really inspired to create anything since I was five, so this felt like my first time. I was really bored, but then I got curious, so I experimented in the art room. The conclusion of this is that he had time to play, so he got a chance to be creative. Selena, I got a question. Is there a connection for play being creative? Yes, there is. First, is that play? then goes around to being curious. Afterward, curiosity turns to experiments. Finally, you have created something new than creativity. Oh, thanks. In addition, play can also develop our social skills. It can help enhance our patience and taking turns. To avoid interrupting others, we can practice by seeing how others talk. According to the author on YouTube, John Spencer, when you play, you get many chances to communicate with others. I remember when my friend and I got mad at each other because we kept on interrupting each other. One of them said we must do the same technique, and how that works is that one person stand on a block and start talking about their opinion. By that, we learn how to take tur turns. Another example is sometimes when I play tag with my friend, we can write new rules, so we will be social and creative. In conclusion, playing with friends or even alone can help us develop our problem solving skills, help us to improve our social skills, and become more creative. So why don't you get out there and find a friend, go to the makerspace outside our art room? Thank you.